Hello there. Uh, this is Vahid Aryadust uh, from the National Institute of Education in Singapore. I'm delighted to bring this presentation on the uses of the measures of central tendency in data analysis to you. Uh, so I would like to start off by defining the measures of central tendency, which are actually some summary of statistics that represent the center point or typical value of a distribution. We have three types of them, mean, mode, and the median. So the mean is actually uh, the average value that you can calculate just by adding up and dividing uh, the result by the number of add-ins. Um, that's perhaps the simplest one. The mode uh, is basically the most frequent statistic in a distribution. For example, in this distribution, I have got uh, a number of uh, values. One, the frequency is one. The frequency of one is one. The frequency of two is also one. The frequency of three is two, because here I'm going to drag this back all the way down here, and we've got two threes. For four, we have quite a few of them. I'm going to drag these down again here. And as you can see, uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are five values. And there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five values for five as well. So in this case, our sample has got two modes. So that's why we call it a multimodal sample. Uh, if the number of fives were only for example 4 we would conclude that there's only one mode and that's number 4 median is another uh, another measure of uh, central tendency which refers to the middle value that splits your data set in half so in order to get a median uh, the first thing that you you have to do is to order your data from the smallest to the largest and then find the value um, with an equal amount of numbers on both sides of the, di the distribution. Here I have already done that, um, so I've arranged it from 1 to 6. Um, now the number uh, that splits this distribution is actually 4, it's right in the middle. So I'm going to uh, embolden it here and highlight it just to show that this is my median. And if uh, th this is an odd number, uh, the number of values here is odd, but if it's, uh, let's say it's if it's um, even, you have to find the two numbers in the middle of the uh, distribution and and just uh, uh, calculate their mean. That becomes your median. Now, how do we use measures of central tendency to get it, to get a rough idea about uh, the normality of our distribution? Uh, I'm sure that you have never seen this in papers because I think this is not a very common way of uh, investigating uh, the normal distribution of the normality of your distribution. But you can always get uh, a rough gauge of whether your data is normally distributed by looking at the mean and the median. In a normal distribution, I should say, mean and the median and the mode as well are equal. They're always the same. But as, as your sample uh, starts to deviate from a nor normal distribution, uh, the, the differences between the mean and especially the mean and the median, median uh, become larger. Now, I'm, I'm going to give an example here to, to show uh, what I mean by this. So I'm going to go to this data set, which I sh uh, have been presenting in another, in another video. Uh, there are quite a few variables here for this presentation. I am going to focus on these uh, language test scores, a grammar score, a vocabulary score, a comprehension score, and English total score. So I'm going to go to Analyze, I'm going to go to uh, Descriptive Statistics, and uh, Frequencies. Or oh, I've already uh, dragged them into... Uh, let me just reset everything. Let's just do it from scratch. So I'm going to choose these four and, and just drag them into this uh, side of the interface. I go to statistics. What, I, what I'm looking for is mean and median. I'm not really looking for the mode at this point because uh, that's not a part of the rough gauge which I mentioned. And also, I'd like to get the uh, kurtosis and skewness values, and that will be just good enough for me at this point. 
for charts it's nice to have the the histogram and the normal curve on the histogram so you you can see whether it's uh, very deviating very much from the normality or not so just click OK and leave the rest as is uh, you don't we don't need to display frequency tables in this presentation because there will be a lot of statistics which we don't need I just click OK and there we go all right so let's go through these uh, one by one I'm gonna double click on this so okay so it will be easier uh, and more interactive in this way um, a look at the mean score and the median they're slightly uh, they're kind of different from each other by 0 0.60 because 10 minus 9.4 you'll get 0 0.6 um, this skewness is slightly negative the rule of thumb is the skewness tends to drag the mean away from the median in its own direction. What does that mean? Uh, so if the sample was 100% normal, normally distributed, the mean and the median would be the same. They would be 10. But now we, we have a slight, very slight and negligible deviation from the no normality, which I have discussed in another uh, video, by the way, uh, which doesn't matter that much. But I want to show here that uh, on this uh, histogram that where the mean is 9.4 and uh, the mean is 9.4. Let me just draw a few things here for you. Um, okay, so the mean is around here right around here if you can see that uh, so it's 9 9 point point I think I gotta change this to another one hopefully oops no I just go back to this anyway 9.4 Sorry, I'm a bit uh, new to this software. Okay, so I hope you can read that. It's 9.4. Um, the mean is 9.4, uh, and the median is 10. All right, and the skewness is negative. It was, if you remember, it was uh, minus 0 0.497. Right, that's the negative side is towards this side actually. This skewness negative. Uh, positive skewness is always towards this direction. This is positive. So what we mean uh, by uh, dragging the mean score away from the median is the median is right here because our skewness is negative so the mean is dragged towards this direction not the opposite direction. In fact we have another variable where uh, Every, where uh, you, you can see a very different pattern. So let me see how I can get rid of what I have uh, created here. Gosh, okay. All right, and I'm going to pause this for a while. Okay. Now, if you look at the second variable uh, where we have a positive skewness here, you see that there is a reverse pattern, a, a reverse relationship between the median and the, and the mean. The mean here was smaller than the median, but it's the opposite way here, the opposite. It's median, which is smaller than, than the mean score. And the reason is that the skewness is positive. I'm going to show you, at, uh, so let's just remember the mean was 5.29, and the median was 5, and the skewness was 0 0.068. I hope I'll remember that. And this, this uh, variable is called vocabulary score. Let's go down to the vocabulary score. Oh, good, good. The mean score is already here. Uh, as you remember, let me draw another one. Uh, let's say, let's say, let's say this one. The, 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 the mean was around... Uh, here, okay. Let's say around. Uh, sorry, the median, not the mean. Uh, this is um, okay. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, okay, so this is this is our this is our median, which is five. Uh, 
the difference between the median and, and the mean here, as you can see, is about 0 0.29. And that indicates that our skewness is positive because it's dragging away the mean score uh, towards the positive side rather than the negative side. Here it is. Right. So, um, as you can see, this uh, kind of um, you know, analysis can give us a very rough gauge of whether our sample might be normal distributed or not. We can do the same thing about uh, other variables, about uh, comprehension score, where our mean is being dragged away towards a negative direction because the median is 4 and the mean is smaller. Conclusion: Our conclusion is that it's being dragged away towards the negative direction and that's actually uh, supported by the, the skewness statistic. If you look at the mean score for, uh, for English total score, you will see a similar pattern where the median is, small, is bigger, is larger than the mean score and the skewness is negative. Since the median is larger than the mean score, we can conclude that uh, the normality is slightly slightly affected towards the negative side that's uh, therefore our sample is uh, slightly skewed negatively. Now I'm going to go back here and just um, provide you a very rough gauge for checking normality. If the differences between the mean and uh, the median fall between 0 0.95 minus 1.05, your sample is most likely normally distributed. However, like I said, this is really a rough gauge. I still prefer to look at the skewness and kurtosis and uh, Kolmogorov Smirnov and Shapiro Wilk tests uh, for different sample sizes, which I have uh, explained in another video. Uh, so this brings me to the end of this presentation. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and have a good day.